California's unemployment agency continues to be overwhelmed with claims and phone lines are jam packed. Today in Sacramento, the director of California's Employment Development Department was in the hot seat. But as News 8's David Gofferson tells us, he does have some good news to report. Right now, we're, you know, we're moving people around just to, you know, um, keep uh, the balls in the air, right? Sharon Hilliard is taking the heat in Sacramento as director of the state's unemployment agency, EDD. Claims are coming in at an unprecedented rate. We had to turn on a dime in order to start processing claims that instead of two to 5,000 every day up to, I think our, our highest day was 235,000 a day. Politicians at the subcommittee hearing had a lot of questions, including some from San Diego Assemblyman Todd Gloria. Right now, what my constituents are telling me is they call this number, uh, they go through a series of phone tree, um, and then they get hung up on. Our new expanded contact center hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. Currently, EDD runs two phone lines, one for general questions and one for claim support. The problem is the claim support line is overwhelmed and only operates from 8 a.m. to noon. We have a total of 1,100 people, and we're in the process of hiring 600 um, additional staff for the call center. People filing claims are fed up. I have not received any COVID-19 benefits nor my, my unemployment benefits. We interviewed Terrence Davis last week. He's been living in Tijuana since being laid off from his job. There is good news after our report aired. A News 8 viewer stepped up and gave Davis $500. And the EDD contacted him to tell him his account had been frozen. Davis now has to send in more forms, which he says he already sent in once. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I have to eat. I have to pay my bills. Now, there is some good news that came out of that hearing today. If you call EDD and you're able to get through on their general assistance line, you can ask to be transferred to a claims specialist. It's kind of a backdoor way in, but you're still going to be on hold for a very long time on those phone lines. Carla? Yeah, still a lot of obstacles for a lot of people out there and a lot of people just not getting their checks yet. We are happy to see that someone stepped forward to help out Terrence. How's he doing at this point? He's doing good. He's still in Tijuana. And uh, he, he, coincidentally or not, uh, he, the EDD contacted him one day after our story aired. So he's uh, in contact with them and, and trying to get his forms straightened out. And we have been getting a lot of emails from uh, News 8 viewers who are having problems getting their money out of EDD. And it's good to see, as you say, uh, one of our viewers step up with a generous donation. Very kind of them. Yeah, the system is pretty much overwhelmed. Thanks, David.